Hello everyone. Today our topic is associative memory. A memory unit accessed by contents is called an associative memory or content addressable memory. This type of memory is accessed simultaneously and in parallel on the basis of data content rather by the address of location like in RAM. Associative memory is used in many applications that require very high speed of searching. When a write operation is performed on associative memory, no address or memory location is given to the world. The memory itself is capable of finding an empty, unused location to store the world. On read operation from an associative memory, the content of the word or part of the word is specified. The words which match the specified content are located by the memory and are marked for reading. Associative memory consists of array of locations with the corresponding logic required for finding a match, an input for the right operation, read and write signals, and two registers, argument register and key register. The argument register A contains the word to be searched. It has n bits, one for each bit of the word. The key register K, also of the same size, provides mask for choosing a particular field or key in the argument word. The associative memory array contains the words which are to be compared with the argument word. Match register is of size M bits, each bit corresponding to each word in the memory array. After the matching process, the bits corresponding to matching words in match register are set to one. And if there is no match, they are clear to zero. The words which are kept in memory are compared in parallel with the content of the argument register. And this is why associative memory is prepared in applications that require very high speed for searching. The key register provides a mask for choosing a particular field or key in the argument word. If the key register contains a binary value of all ones, then the entire argument is compared with each memory word. Otherwise, only those bits in the argument that have ones in their corresponding position of the key register are compared. Suppose the following contents of an associative memory, and suppose that the argument key is one zero, one one zero, one one zero, and the mask or the key register is zero zero, one 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 zero zero. In these positions, we have empty a match with A. So here we have zero. In these positions, we have int match with A as well. So we'll have here also zero. But here we have match with A. So we'll have here one. Here we have int match with A zero. Here again we have match with A. So we'll have here one here zero and here zero as well. These are the match bits. So we retrieve the content of this location and the content of this location as well. The search is done in all locations at the same time in parallel since the search is implemented using hardware. So the contents of the match location are retrieved very quickly. The cells inside the memory array are marked by the letter C with two subscripts, I and J. The first subscript, I, is for the word number, and the second subscript is for the bit position inside the word. So CIJ is the cell for bit J in word I. Each bit in the argument register is compared with all the bits 
in column J of the array, provided that Kj equals one. If Kj equals zero, no comparison is needed. This process is done for all columns, J equal one, two, etc. to N. If the match occurs between all the unmasked bits in the argument and the bits in the word I, the corresponding bit MI in the match register is set to one. If one or more unmasked bits of the argument and the word does not match, MI is clear to zero. Next, regarding the internal organization of a typical cell CIJ, it contains a flip flop FIJ and the circuits required for reading, writing, and matching the cell. First, regarding the write operation, the input bit is stored in the flip flop during the write operation. So if write is active here, not I, I. If I is zero, then we'll have here one, zero, which is reset. So zero will be stored in the flip flop. And if I is one, we'll have here zero, one, which is the set state. So one will be stored in the flip flop. The stored bit in the flip flop is read during the read operation. This part is similar to the memory cell used in random access memories. But in addition to that, in associative memory, each cell has additional match logic and the circuit has additional logic for comparison. The match logic compares the contents of the storage cell FIJ with the corresponding unmasked bit of the argument and provides the output to decision logic that sets or resets the corresponding bit in MI. Now regarding the match logic, the bits AJ and FIJ are equal if the function AJ equivalence or FIJ is true. And you know the Boolean expression for this function, AJ, FIJ, or not AJ, not FIJ. If this function is true, then IJ equals to FIJ. And therefore the word I is equal to the argument in A, if AJ equals FIJ for all J's from one to N. If we do not dysfunction by XJ, then we can conclude that the bit MI equals to X1 and it with X2, etc., and it with XN. And this without considering the bit KJ used for masking. I already mentioned that if KJ equals zero, then no comparison is needed. We need to compare only if KJ equals one. And this can be achieved by ordering each term with not KJ. XJ or not KJ. Since this is equal to XJ, if KJ equals one or one, if KJ equals zero. This term is equal to one if its pair of bits is not compared. And this means that the comparison has an effect only when KJ equals one. The match logic for word I can be expressed with the following function. MI equals X1 
not K1 and it with X2 or not K2, etc. and it with Xn or it with not Kn. Or product of the terms G equal 1 to N, Xj or do not Kj. Here we have the circuit for matching one word. For bit one we have not K1 or with A1 equivalence or F11. And this is the part for implementing the equivalence circuit. Here we have not A1 and do not F I1 and here A1 and it with F I1. And in the same manner, here we have not K2 or with A2 equivalence or F12. The outputs of all the OR gates are ended and if MI equals to one, then this word matches with the unmasked bits in the argument value in A. And the content of this location can be transferred to the output. If however MI is zero, then we haven't matched and the content of this location is not transferred to the output. The main advantages of associative memory are it is efficient in search, short search time since the search is implemented by hardware. Associative memory is suitable for parallel searches. It's used to speed up databases and it is used also to implement page tables used by virtual memory. The disadvantages of associative memory are each cell must have storage capabilities and logic circuits for matching its content with external argument. And this means that associative memory is more expensive since it requires additional hardware. And even in the application that uses associative memory Usually, it has limited capacity. It's very expensive and difficult to design associative memory with large capacity. For today, that's all. Thank you.